Hi, I'm Kitamura and a member of Kyushu University in Japan. We propose a new method to improve the training of 2D pose estimators for extreme poses by leveraging a new sports data set and our proposed data augmentation strategy. 3D skeleton of the human body is a powerful data to analyze the motion and performance of athletes. One way to predict the 3D pose is to use motion sensors can detect the accurate movement of the human skeleton by attaching markers to the human body. However, dedicated equipment such as motion sensors are expensive and markers was attached on the human body which may not be comfortable for the athlete. As a consequence, non-invasive techniques such as 3D pose estimation from multi-view RGB images are preferred. First, Estimate the 2D pose of the person in each 2D image and then triangulate the 2D skeletons to create a 3D skeleton. By doing so, a markerless, low-cost system that can be used anywhere can be built. Open pose is the most popular method to obtain a 2D skeleton from a single color image and shows high accuracy. However, open pose fails in pose estimation when input is unseen pose in normal life such as having the head down. So. This makes pose estimation in sports seem difficult. This is because such extreme poses are few in the Coco data set used for training open pose. A simple idea to solve the estimation failure in extreme pose is to rotate the input image beforehand and bring the head to the top of the image. From these output, we select the most appropriate with reference to their confidence scores. The sports test data set in the bottom right table is a data set containing many of the extreme poses described next. We did not see a significant improvement in results. For our method, we introduce a new human pose data set specifically tailored to sports scenario. We capture videos consists of 750 frames of the athletes performing multiple movements such as backflips. These videos were shot simultaneously from multiple directions. We especially use front and back view and annotate with our developed annotation tool. We use the pre-trained weights of open pose at initialization and refine the weights in the network using the sports data set. Retraining has greatly improved the accuracy of the extreme pose estimation. However, this results are overfeed to the extreme pose, and the accuracy of estimation for the standard poses is greatly reduced. To prevent the network to overfit the sports data set, we combine both COCO and sports data sets. However, while the COCO data set contains about 65,000 images, the sports data set contains only 1,500 images. To balance the two data sets, we apply data augmentation to sports data sets. By doing this, we achieve accurate and robust pose estimation in various situations. This table shows the results for the two test data sets. The combination of retrain and augmentation gives the best values in the sports data set, but significantly reduces the values in the COCO data set. We found that the best balance of both data sets is achieved when we do a mix in addition to augmentation and retrain and this value is also significantly higher than that of pre-rotating. This shows qualitative comparison between results obtained with the original open pose method and our proposed method with mix and augmentation on sports test data sets. Please note that each joint has a corresponding color. The colors of the hands and feet are reversed when hands stand. With standard poses, our method has performance as the original and with extreme pose, Ours can predict poses original could not. Our method also works well for on the wild videos taken from YouTube. These results show that our proposed method is robust and can be used efficiently on real scenarios, which is promising for various applications in sports. Our method does not require any markers or special equipment, which is promising to make motion data collection and analysis of athletic activities more accessible.